I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra. In this series, I will be taking few very interesting popular questions. They will help you prepare for any competitive exam. Now here, uh, we have ABCD is a square with sides of 8 cm. So, so this is our square ABCD and each side is 8 centimeters. A square is inscribed in ABCD by lines joining the midpoint. So, so that is the midpoint. That means uh, this side is equal to that side. So these sides are equal. So if you join midpoints of a square as shown here, you actually again get a square inscribed in it. This process is repeated four more times as shown here. So one time we just did it, then one more time, second time, third time, fourth time. So four more times. Ex now there are two parts to this question. First is explain how the area of each subsequent square is related. Right. So what we're trying to show is that there is a relation between each square uh, and this is how we can actually find the relation so let me do it on a separate uh, figure let's say we start with a square something like this we join the midpoints so whenever you join these midpoints of a square you get another square right so this drawing is not very accurate but I hope you will understand the concepts now what is the relation? The question A is explain how the area of each subsequent square is related. So let us say this is the square with side 8. What is the area of this one? Well, the easy way to use geometry is we can actually connect these points. Right? Uh, so when you do that, you see what? You see that we have in the bigger square we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And inside this we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do you see that part? That means that the area of inscribed square is how much is half of outer right so even without doing any calculation we can count these congruent triangles there are 16 in all and in the inscribed square there are eight of them so the area is half do you see that so explain how the area of each subsequent square is related. That is how they are related. That each subsequent square area is half of the outer. Right. Now this is a very, very important conclusion. And it can be used in solving some of the most complicated questions which you see in many competitive exams. Right? Now. Part B is find the total length of lines in the figure. So we have to find total length of lines. Well, one way is we know this outer is 8, right? So this much will be 4, right? 4 and 4. And the one which is this one will be 4 square root of 2. Correct? That is the hypotenuse. This is we can do all that math, right? And then the next one we can again do this calculation and then we can add all the sides and find the result that is one way of doing it right commonly used method but here is a best approach i'll write so the best strategy here is to work with the area and that is why i have placed that question first right so we'll actually work with area. 
and you know for a square if you know the area you also know the side length right both are related correct so what we are going to do here is we'll see what is the area of each square and we'll kind of make a table here just to illustrate and uh, show it clearly what we are doing so first let's find the area of each square starting with the outer one which is 64 since we are given that the side is 8 right so the outer one is 64 now next one will be half of 64 since we know that is the relation area of inscribed square is half of the outer so the next area will be 32 and then we get into this one which is going to be half of 32 then we get into this one which is half of 16 which is 8 and then we get into that one which is half of 8 which is 4 and then we get into the last one whose area is 2 you get the idea so the area is becoming half now what are the side lengths so each side so each side will be square root of this right so for the first one we are already given square root of 64 is 8 now square root of 32 is like 16 times 2 it could be written as 4 square root 2 right for 16 square root is 4 for 8 4 times 2 that means 2 square root 2 for 4 the side length will be 2 and square root of 2 will be the dimension for the last one so that is each side right now it is easy to calculate the perimeter correct so sum of all sides all sides that means outer four sides then four sides so four of each right so that means basically four times since there are four sides to a square all of equal length we'll have to add these numbers which is 8 plus 4 square root 2 plus 4 plus 2 square root 2 plus 2 plus square root 2 correct so that is equal to 4 times now here we can add the numbers 8 4 and 2 so 8 4 is 12 plus 2 14 right 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 14 so we get 14 plus now here for the square root terms we get 4 square root 2 2 square root 2 and just square root 2 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so we get 7 square root 2 is that clear to you now uh, we could write it in either way I could just multiply by 4 and write them or I could factor 7 right so I could write this as 7 factored out we can write 28 uh, and we get 2 plus square root 2 or or I could also write my answer as we could just multiply by 4 4 times 4 is 16 6 1 4 times 1 is 4 and 1 is 56 plus 28 square root 2 right so either way the units will be definitely centimeters is that clear to you so that is how we can actually find the sum of all the sides correct so I find that this is a very logical method rarely used to solve such questions unfortunately right so so that is what we have so we have our answer which is uh, 56 plus 28 square root 2 is the sum of all the lines which you see in this particular drawing of square inscribing a square by joining the midpoints of each square perfect so I hope it makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and uh, do check other videos in this playlist for some interesting solutions thanks for your time and all the best